Good evening and welcome to the guitar effect. It's going to be a quick video tonight because it's really really late and also um, I have to pack up this everything in my studio because I'm moving to a different room in my house which is more purpose built and would be better for all this kind of YouTubing that I'll be doing hopefully a lot of in the near future. So I wanted to make a quick video because I won't probably probably won't be set up to make one for next week so i just thought i'd make a quick video so the track you heard at the beginning um featured this guitar and that's what this video is about and so it was played on all the parts and aren't acoustic on that track and this is um as i've referenced in another a lot of other videos this is my 80s build squire parts caster so um basically i had these pickups these three squire single coil pickups from um Silver Series Squire that I had maybe 10 years ago um, and I, I, I had taken them out of the guitar and replaced them with some Seymour Duncan P-Rail things like a bloody idiot um, sold the guitar on pretty soon afterwards um, and I found these in just a storage box recently when we moved house and I was like right I'm going to build a guitar around those I'm going to find relevant parts and build a guitar around them so I wanted to do this as cheaply as humanly possible as well as an experiment for myself. So I went online and I found this Korean Samic brand um, Strat from 1988. Um, it's a, believe it or not, it's actually a sunburst Strat, even though the sunburst is so minimal. I mean, you can kind of see it coming in in parts that it just looks like a black Strat from the front, which is actually what I wanted. I wanted a black Strat with a parchment scratch plate on because I thought I knew these pickups would look really cool against a parchment scratch plate and I wanted a rosewood neck. Now, when this strat came, it had this neck attached to it with this horrendous, this horrendous diabolical looking 80s headstock, which had to go, so I took that off. Um, and had intended on buying a fender saw neck. And luckily enough, a friend of mine who's a luthier in the southwest of Ireland, um, had this neck just sitting around, and um, with a load of gear that he had put up from guitar builds he'd done, where he had superfluous parts left over, and one of them was this unbranded neck that he simply said came from eBay. He doesn't know anything about where it came from. Um, it's a beautiful neck. Uh, it's maple with a rosewood board, obviously, and it came with these uh, branded Fender. Um, machine heads on it and it has these nice string trees on it too which you can see here so I was really really happy with the neck I love the way it feels it's exactly the kind of neck I like it's like a just a standard C profile neck and the fretboard I'd say is about maybe about a nine and a half inch radius I'd say it's quite a vintage feeling radius but not like unbendable or unplayable or anything like that it's just a really standard feeling strap neck and also it's been tinted amber which I really really love interestingly the headstock is like about 10% bigger than my American Standard Strat and I recently sold on a Mexican Strat that I had and again the head sock is just, just about 10% bigger which I think is odd and um, when it's in isolation you don't notice it but when it's beside the other strats it is actually quite significantly bigger than um, my other strats so um, as I said this is a Korean 80s Samic Strat and a unknown origin unknown age neck although I don't think it's very old um, and then the other thing is I obviously I had the pickups already and I got some potentiometers um, from a local music store I don't think they're particularly brilliant I don't think they're particularly bad but they they have decent tape on them which is all I wanted and the scratch plate I got off an actual 80 square second hand that was listed on a free ads website that I spent a lot of time on in Ireland Advert side, it's called. So I went on there and I found this scratch plate, which, while it looks like it's like a aftermarket parchment scratch plate, is actually a white scratch plate from a silver series square from the eighties that has literally aged to be that slightly yellow color. Um, and then the pickup covers, obviously being yellow, contributes to that kind of aged look as well. And I really, really like the look of it. Um, I haven't replaced the bridge, and I haven't even tried the trem tremor in it yet. I I I can't really. <laughs> I can bend it a little bit, but it's pretty it's pretty stiff. It's got three strings in the back. It's just a I think maybe I might replace a bridge in time. Um it's just even as an exercise. I've never replaced a bridge before, I'd like to try and do it. So I'll give you a listen to a few tones. Um 
just turned it into a delay, but it's quite loud. So I'm playing on my parts caster into my cock studio tone 20 which by the way i don't have a cab mic'd up in the room or anything it has a really really good versatile emulated speaker output on the back of it where you can change to either an off axis or on axis mic placement or 4x12 or 1x12 cab and i have it on the 1x12 and i have it on axis i did have it off axis but i found it too dull i'm playing through the dirty channel on the amp with the gain roll back to like a quarter so i can if i play lightly it's clean if I dig in it's dirty or if I roll off it's clean so I'll just go through some settings right now um, I'm on the neck pickup I'll turn the delay off I'm on the neck pickup and it sounds like a strat neck pickup so I'm going to leave it wide open first of all. Sounds like a strat neck pickup. There's no dead spots any around, around any on this neck at all. I didn't have to set it up. Sean from Erwin Luthery, I think, may have done a job on it before he came to me, and it just plays beautifully. It did not fit the guitar particularly well when I got it, so I had to um, shim. First of all, these bridge saddles are up almost as high as it'll go so I'll need to adjust that um, and I had to put a shim in the back of the neck to cause the neck break angle to be lower which has made the action work out really really beautiful and um, so it's somewhat of a work in progress from when it comes to terms of fine tuning it but I'm really happy where it's at so that is the neck pickup and um, here is the out of phase position I'm going to turn on the compressor for this out of phase position between the neck and middle pickups Thing or out of phase thing. You can hear the bite, the stratty bite it has. this guitar is I can roll the go back to back pickup roll the tone off I have that mod done and dig it on the back pickup and it can be really it can be really rocky you know um that's why I use it so much for these demos. It just covers so much ground. And um, so the next thing is the middle pickup. I never know what's playing. It's right in the middle pickup. find the neck or the mid pickup I should say on the strat is good for playing stringy riffy stuff and um, so yeah it works well for that song and off the compressor and um, so then uh, we come to the fabled uh, out of phase position between the bridge and the middle 
It's just still set really well. <laughs> And obviously it does that other thing that that position is known for really well too. This is the um, Milos Popovich analog delay with modulation, which I've reviewed in another video. Does that thing really well too so i'll just play a little bit of dirt and um, both for rhythm and lead uh, this is the mosky tube screamer into the um dirty channel on my cox studio tone 20. <laughs> That's a bridge pickup which has that really nice attack. But I can also roll that tone off. works really well. So the other, the other thing then that you want a, a strat to be able to do well is that fluty, throaty lead sound. So I'm going to wind back the delay mix a little bit. I'm gonna go to the neck pickup. I should turn the tone back a little bit and go to the Seven Sisters Ruby Fuzz. And um, before again, before the dirty channel on my amp, um, it's a very noisy pedal, but it does this sound really beautifully. <laughs> boost that with the tube screamer and fun to get it even more throaty and it sounds beautiful Thank you. 
so yeah um, that's my part 80s part unknown origin parts caster 80s squire that is parts caster um, I love it I can't recommend building a parts caster enough there's something really cool about a guitar that you build yourself you really identify with it it's what you want it to be um, give it a go my name's Rob and you've been watching The Guitar Effect and I'll see you soon from hopefully new and flashy digs. Talk to you soon. Mm-hmm.